Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Korean Atlanta Mentorship. So I don't know if you know who uh, Keith Lee is. Uh, he's a TikTok star who's a food reviewer, and he's really, really big. I don't know him that well. I know of him, uh, but um, apparently this guy is so famous that he can make or break restaurants, right? That's how influential he is. And one of the places that he recently went to was San Francisco, and he cut his food to, food tour early there. And um, you know, if you don't know how San Francisco nowadays, apparently it's like worse than a third world country. Now, luckily, right now I'm in Southern California, so I'm shielded away from a lot of that nonsense. Like I'm away from you know the city of Los Angeles. I still haven't visited that place yet, and I don't think I will as long as I'm here. But if you ever been to like the major urban centers of California, like San Francisco and Los Angeles, it's it's kind of a disaster. Right, even though it's it's a these places are very hyped up in media, and so if you we take a look at this article here, he visited San Francisco. Former MMA fighter and TikTok food critic Keith Lee announced Thursday night via social media that he's ending his trip to the Bay Area earlier than planned. Right, uh, he talks about here about he cut his trip short because of an allergic reaction to shellfish. That sent him to the hospital. The other reasons behind his abrupt departure include commentary on the safety of the Bay Area as a tourist destination and like a lack of dining experience that warranted uh, posting about it at all. Right. So he says that the people of the Bay Area are, are amazing, but um, you know, as a tourist, he felt unsafe, and you know, he realized that the people of in that area are just living hand to mouth. Now, how does this relate to the topic at hand? Um, here's how I feel about the state of California. It's a place with a lot of potential. It's a place where it was it, right? IT, it was it. Um, if you looked at media a um, long time ago, you, you know, not in 2023, 2024, California was the place to be. You know, Beach Boys, California Girls, uh, California Love by Tupac. Uh, what was that Katy Perry song? California something. I forgot, but there's a lot of songs about California as this place to be. And nowadays it's where dreams go to die. And I'm gonna tell you why that is, right? In my opinion, and this isn't fact, this is just my opinion. I see the state of California as a rich kid who inherited everything and then squandered his inheritance after about 10 years, right? So I would say like, 2000s is when the deterioration like slowly start to unravel and then by the time you know after 10 or 15 years then then, then it's over and if you come here to accomplish your dreams you, you're insane right there's no reason to be here everybody has an internet connection you could film videos in whatever country and be famous just as long as you're uh, able to get attention and you'll be rich in no time, right? Now, why is it that California is a bad place to accomplish your dreams? Well, the fact is, is that you're only as good as the people around you, right? And if you're around people who are given the world and they just squatter, you know, spend all you know re waste their resources in such a short amount of time guess what you know your environment and the people around you really do affect you and you're not going to grow right and that's how i feel about california in general you know during my time here of course i've always been disappointed because you know what i share the best of my ideas with people who i want to care about and who i want to learn and grow with and nobody cares right explain to friends Hey, this is velocity banking, no interest. Hey, you know, learn about marketing, real estate, investing, learning how to buy properties at a discount, no interest, right? And I don't know if it's specifically just because you're not a prophet in your hometown, but the more I stay here, the more I lose my my um, concentration and thinking power and all my my desire to to uh, do what's good, right? And so this is why. This channel is not called California or Korean California Mentorship, even though I'm from California. This is called Korean Atlanta Mentorship because if I had not gone to Atlanta, you would not see this YouTube channel because I wouldn't have received inspiration based on my experiences to, to share with you. And I learned velocity banking in Atlanta, believe it or not. I didn't learn in California. Even if I shared it to other Californians, 
or at least the people that I know, I just get blank stares and don't be like, not interested, right? And again, I can't tell if it's because I'm not a prophet in my hometown or if it's California in general, but I feel like it's a combination of both, right? This is a place that has everything. And, you know, it, it you know, let's take the Bay Area, for example. <laughs> um, it's, it's a place, and again, I've never been to the Bay Area, but the Bay Area is a strange place where people actually have to lower their car windows so that thieves don't break into their car. Like, isn't that insane? Now, not everywhere in California is like that. I'm not, like, right now where I'm in California is not like that at all. But, again, with as reach source rich, and I don't even know how to say this. Like, this place has everything at the tip of your fingertips, and people just waste it. Like, people act like, oh, my gosh, there's no no opportunity, right? And, and that's what makes me not want to be here anymore, right? Like, you ever been around rich kids who just don't, who just kind of waste the resources that they have and act like they, they just can't do anything? That's what the state of California is like. And that's how the people of California are like. There's no resourcefulness. It's just, we have everything. We inherited everything. And uh, well, there's absolutely nothing we can do to solve the problems of our state. And this is why California is where dreams go to die. This is why I don't want to be here. This is why I'm glad I left, right? It's kind of sad that this is how the state was because, um, again, if you're growing up here, maybe the 80s, 90s, this was it. Like, there's no other better place. There was a California dream. And it's something like Adam Carolla said that, this was a state that you moved to, and the only reason you ever moved out is because your company relocated to to some other state, and that's the only reason that that you'd move, and you'll do anything to stay here, right? But uh, look at where we are today, and and I'm I kind of feel sad, I mean, I kind of feel glad, you know, I'm still in California right now, but I kind of feel glad that I'm I'm returning back to Georgia because now I feel like my intellectual prowess will, will start to regenerate, even though I'm not really that smart of a person. But I feel like the more I stay here, the more, I don't want to say if it's motivation, but the more that I stay here, the more, hmm, how do I explain this? I just can't think. Like, I don't have good ideas coming to me. I'm surprised that I'm still able to make, like, crank out YouTube videos, but I'm just not at, you know, uh, going at 100, if that makes sense because I'm not surrounded by people who care. And that's unfortunately how the, the, the state population is, at least in my opinion. And, and this is kind of related to something I heard about from a real estate instructor that I took a class about. And you know, he was talking about how he was from the Midwest. And he, one of the questions is, why are Midwestern pop properties so cheap? It's because the people there are cheap. And that to me made no sense for the longest time until I realized that, you know, even in things like real estate, it's not based on like the house itself. It's based around all the population and their attitudes toward the house and how much they're willing to pay, right? What are their values? What do they value? Same thing, California. You know, people here don't seem to value, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, is it practicality? I don't know, if someone can tell me, like put in the comment what the word I'm trying to look for, um, tenacity, pra practicality, uh, resourcefulness. I think that's it, resourcefulness and thoughtfulness, right? That's that's what the state lacks, and that's why I don't want to be here anymore because, because all my great ideas are just not coming to me the more I stay here, but that's why I got to kind of go back to, to Atlanta or to Georgia so I can just kind of regenerate myself and take control of my own thoughts and actions, whereas here... I'm kind of at, I don't want to say at the mercy, but I'm more influenced by other people and I, I lack power and control, if that makes sense. Okay, well, this is a Korean Atlanta mentorship. If you're interested in joining our group, go ahead and click the Google form link below. Other than that, um, happy Thursday night, I guess. And then uh, we'll see if I make more videos tomorrow. Other than that, have a great day. Bye, everybody.